Have you ever wondered what Operation Christmas Child is, what it's all about, and how you can get involved? Stick with us to find out more. Hey guys, this is Jeff. And Jessica. From That Bold Life, your weekly encouragement to help you live a bold life for Jesus. Okay guys, today we have our Operation Christmas Child boxes. They are packed full of goodies. Uh, first, we want to tell you just a little bit about what Operation Christmas Child is, and then we will show you what is inside of our boxes. Those of you who aren't familiar with it, Operation Christmas Child is ran by Samaritan's Purse, and basically they take shoe boxes just like this, or you can get a cardboard shoe box, or you can get a pre-printed shoe box from Samaritan's Purse, and you just fill it up with all sorts of toys. All sorts of things that you think that kids in other countries and third world countries would enjoy. Those that might not normally get to celebrate a Christmas, that they might not normally get any kind of presents, that you will be able to actually pack that up and you pay a, a small gift of $9 basically to cover your shipping. If you pay online like we did, you actually get a tracking label just like this. You get to choose if you want to go to a boy or to a girl and then you get to mark the ages either two to four years old five to nine years old or 10 to 14 years old. Mine is a boy going to five to nine years old. And yours is? A girl going to two to four years old. Two to four. So this is an awesome opportunity to help some other kids uh, get to experience a Christmas sort of like we do here in the United States. We are, we are blessed to be able to celebrate here in the United States the way we are. So this is the opportunity to kind of give back and to give another child that opportunity. Now, Samaritan's Purse, they are very active in spreading the gospel. They are a Christian-based organization, so you can also pay an extra $6, and the child that it's going to will get a Bible and a devotion. I think there's like some schooling that goes into that, and it's just, it's an amazing organization. This is just an amazing opportunity to give back, and if you're wondering what to do with this box, you don't have to shove it in your mailbox. There's going to be pickup facilities all around you. I think they say that there's you know 10,000 across the United States. So I'm sure somewhere around you there's gonna be a pickup place. Our church actually is one. Um, so we're gonna be able to drop this off and we're gonna send out you know a few hundred of them. There's pretty much gonna be a pickup facility anywhere that you are. So you can Google uh, pickup facilities. You can probably call around a couple churches and they can tell you where you can take your box to. You can go to the Samaritan's Purse website linked in this card right over here. You can go to that link and they'll give you all the information you need to actually do this yourself. All right, so we will get, I guess, to the good stuff and let you see what we've actually packed inside of our boxes. Here is our boxes, and as you can tell, we have them packed pretty full. So we'll go through um, kind of item by item, just give you some ideas what you can put in your box that you're gonna be sending, um, which on the Samaritan's First website, they have a, a, a whole list of things you can send for the different age groups. A few things you can't send, it is gonna be flying so you can't send any sort of liquids or toothpaste or candy. You can send toys and toiletries and games. Uh, anything like that that you think they can, they would like, you can send that. So I'm just gonna unpack mine, which um, my beautiful wife Jessica here has basically played a game of Tetris to make it all fit and I'm going to ruin it all. So uh, my, my first item I got is I got a, a football. It's just a Nerf football, it's small enough that it'll fit and it actually whistles when you throw it. I think they'll enjoy that. I think it'll be fun. Um, then I got, I got this Spider-Man cup, uh, which it is a water bottle, but it also has the bottom that screws off. And inside of there is another gift. Uh, we have a yo-yo that we kind of put inside of there just to make it fit, but they could put snacks or whatever else they would like. Um, got a couple loofahs. They were small enough to fit in there and, you know, good hygiene, <laughs> good hygiene you know. Um, with that hygiene, we got a bar of soap, uh, which you can send like bars of soap. You just cannot send uh, liquid soaps. Uh, then I got this, which is pretty awesome. It is a Justice League towelette and it is tiny, so it actually fit in my box, but it will be a whole washcloth when they put it in some water. So that was pretty cool. Uh, then we got... A whole bunch of Play-Doh, because like I said, it's to a five to nine year old, so we got some small containers of Play-Doh. Let's see, put this up here. Um, then I got, oh no. Then I got this baseball with a string, they can throw it and come back to them. Oh, okay. You get the idea. Let's see, oh, I thought this was cool. 
This is a little project that comes with the tools and it comes with like nuts and bolts to build like a little car that they can put together and do. I actually kind of want to buy myself one of these. Um, got a flashlight. Flashlights I figure would be handy. Everyone needs a good flashlight. Um, then we got, uh, going back to the hygiene, we packed a toothbrush and like a toothbrush holder. We couldn't pack any toothpaste. Um, so the fact they told us not that we could pack toothbrushes, I assume they have access to toothpaste. Um, so then I got uh, colored pencils, then just regular writing pencils. Um, also packed a small pencil sharpener so they can sharpen up all their pencils. Um, and then I got a Christmas play pad. This has like mazes and games and like pictures to color and stuff in it. It looked like it had a lot of games and I thought they would like. Um, and then I think our favorite part is the note. Um, they, they recommend that you write a note to the child. Um, and this is my note to my, to my kid. I just called it, hey buddy. Um, and kind of wrote to him, talked to him a little bit. Um, wrote my favorite Bible verse in there. You've probably heard me talk about it a few times. Romans 8, 35 and 37 I wrote in here for him. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's in my box. And Jessica's gonna tell you what's in her box for a two to four year old girl. Yay. I have little dolls. One's a little cloth doll and one's like a little plastic doll. Um, then I have a little cup with some loofahs inside of there. Cause that one's best for storage. I also have two little washcloths, one's Minnie Mouse and one is Ariel. Um, I have some soap, some little Q-tips, and this cute little Paw Patrol container that I'm buying for our daughter. Um, I got lots of pencils and I took them out because Tetris is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I have little shapes and colors, flashcards, a pencil sharpener, um, a little horse that they can horse. comb. Yeah, it's a little one. Yeah. And it comes with a little brush that you can brush their hair with. It's so cute. It's somewhere in here. Then I have this little container that I think one thing they said was that it was nice to pack things that they could use again. So we just got this little container and it was perfect for our Play-Doh that we got. So all yeah. four of mine fit well, yeah. in there. And that's also why we got these boxes because they can use these boxes again and again. They can do whatever they want it. They have a storage box. Right, and they're theirs and they can like put a lid on it and make <laughs> sure that they keep them. Um, I have a little um, Hello Kitty toothbrush with a little toothbrush holder, some colored pencils. And last but not least, I have a little dry erase, little dry erase board that I think that they'll enjoy, and my little note as well. So, I mean, I, I'd be happy with it. Yeah. So we went on a little bit of a shopping spree today to fill these, and we just roamed the aisles thinking about what we thought they would enjoy. And I think we ended up buying too much. There's actually. I have a big water bottle in there that somehow I thought I was going to fit in here. It didn't fit. Uh, I kept having to remind you that yeah, not that, everything. Yeah, not everything fit, but I, I got this and this fit pretty well and I thought it was nice that it kind of doubled and uh, there's a storage container on there. Um, but the final thing they ask that you do is that you actually pray over the boxes and you pray for the kids that these boxes are going to go to. So we're going to do that right now and we want you to actually pray with us and pray for the kids that these are going for, all, all the prayers that we can get. Uh, is great. So we want you guys just to pray along with us as we kind of pray over these boxes. Um, then we'll end this video. We really encourage you to participate and to fill a shoe box and bless a kid. All right, let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for this opportunity, Lord, that there are just amazing people out there, like the people at Samaritan's Purse that are doing this, Lord. I just pray that everyone who watches this video, that they would feel blessed and they'd feel encouraged to go out and just make a difference today, Lord, that, that they could buy a shoe box, that they could buy a few toys and they could make a difference in a child's life. I just pray that you will reach the children, God, that whoever these boxes go to, that you would bless, God, that they would be introduced and they would see the gospel, God, and that they would be added to the numbers, God, that they would 
they would become Christians, they would submit their life to you, Jesus. We just pray that they would be blessed, that you would watch over them, that your hand would comfort them and guide them in everything they do and everything they go through. God, I pray that you'll be with them, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, guys, thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, I release content just like this every single Friday. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down here. You can also check out a few of my other videos, and you can check out our personal channel called This Is Living. All right, guys, keep living that bold life.